Today, we take a closer look at how New Valley has been building a path towards an environmentally responsible community. Because of its eco-friendly policies, New Valley is the best site where Project Green Home will soon rise. Join us as we explore the many facets of New Valley and sit down with the designers that will help make Project Green Home happen. The road to being green is wide and well paved. If you take the route that leads to New Valley, Ayala Land's Regional Growth Center, that straddles the thriving towns of Santa Rosa, Cabuyao, and Calamba in Laguna. With a solid support infrastructure centered on economic, environmental, and social sustainability, New Valley is the country's first large-scale mixed-use development that is completely focused on giving business and residents a practical and relatively easy way to start a green life. We can enjoy all that Mother Earth has to offer only if we have respect for her. And it is exactly this deep respect for the environment that is at the heart of New Valley. By making sure that low-impact development and low-density land use are implemented in the development, New Valley makes sure that there is a good balance between built and open spaces. Becoming a responsible and green member of society has never been this easy in New Valley. Bike and pedestrian-friendly roads and taxi boats encourage the use of eco-friendly transportation. Likewise, the wildlife and bird sanctuary, adventure trails and river system deepen the appreciation of nature and understanding of the environment. But green living entails more than just having an abundance of wildlife and trees. New Valley recognizes the fact that environmental sustainability lies beyond what the eye can see. New Valley's revolutionary vision extends toward its programs and policies on the environment, water, energy and waste management, as well as estate management policies. Developers and locators are required to plant a specific number of trees, depending on the size of their lots. Drainage systems called bioswales and permeable surfaces allow water to seep back into the earth and recharge the underground water aquifer. Dual piping systems which allow for the use of recycled water are also installed in all buildings, commercial and residential lots. Proper waste segregation and management policies are also strictly enforced in New Valley. And, true to the saying that, one man's trash is another's treasure, the community holds an Ayala Recyclables Fair. This is held quarterly, where even companies and residents in the surrounding areas in Santa Rosa and Calamba pitch in to do their share for the environment. Also, some of the wastes are upcycled by community into useful products such as paper, woven baskets, charcoal briquettes, and vermicompost. The bioswales that uh, we incorporated into the design of the uh, street drainage for New Valley um, functions uh, wherein uh, rainwater is uh, collected through this rather than a, a, a concrete pipe. So what we're trying to do in the valley is that rather than collect these uh, and then discharging them uh, off-site, uh, we collect this and then slowly percolate them back into the groundwater, therefore recharging uh, the aquifers. Now, what, what the pavers do is similar to the uh, bioswales I mentioned earlier. Um, they prevent flood by absorbing, in a way, uh, runoff. The fair happens uh, periodically uh, in various venues and um, rather than because we have of course computers that are not working anymore, printers uh, and some appliances that rather than you just throwing them away and then contribute to the landfill, uh, the fair uh, are venues for, for people to, uh, to collect and recycle and you basically uh, sort of sell these uh, 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 appliances uh, that you don't use anymore. With all these efforts and a strong drive towards a cleaner, greener, and more beautiful world, it's fitting that New Valley becomes the home of Project Green Home.
This exciting project is set to break ground this year, and we've already started talking to the best eco-centric architects, designers, and contractors to get the ball rolling. Uh, in terms of uh, general considerations, we have to consider first the natural ventilation and daylighting. We can also consider the building orientation of the house in relation to the prevailing winds and also the solar orientation of the house. The energy efficiency as well as the water conservation. We will use the roof to catch water when it rains, collect them in a tank. So as long as you have that free water to use for flushing the toilets, fine. If you run out of it, you have your secondary pipe nice. to bring in the grey water to flush the toilet. Uh, Cost-wise, um, this is going to cost us more to build? Uh, definitely. Uh, first cost is really high compared to an ordinary house. Just like what I uh, told before, that greenhouse, when you uh, look at the first cost, it's incomparable with the cost of the ordinary house. Yeah. But if you will look at after 10 or 15 years, that's the time that you will realize that greenhouses are very cheap compared to ordinary houses. In the long run. In the long run. Most people say it is extremely difficult to go green. But New Valley and Project Green Home can show you that a serene, tranquil, and eco-friendly life less complicated and easier than you think.